every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to the 12th day of my challenge. And today, as always, I'm gonna jump through one of the recipes because Oh, old story, I just couldn't find one of the main ingredients, but nevertheless, today I think will be one of the more interesting recipes for me because I've never tried that thing before and I have no idea how it will taste like and I'm talking about the corn cake. I almost thought that I will skip this recipe as well because of two things. One, it calls for the creamed style corn, which I couldn't find anywhere, but in the end somehow Uncle Google came to their rescue as always. So I'm gonna make that myself. And the other thing is that this recipe calls for two different corn meals. One super fine coarse and the other medium coarse. And I could only find the super fine coarse, but oh well, let's see how it goes with that. <laughs> so let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. We're gonna need cornmeal, super fine coarse and medium coarse, 50 grams each, 8 milliliters of water, two tablespoons of heavy cream, half a teaspoon of baking powder, granulated sugar, 70 grams for the cake and one teaspoon for the creamy corn, butter, 100 grams for the cake and three fourths of a tablespoon for the creamy corn, salt, quarter of a teaspoon for each, the cake and the creamy corn, fourth of a teaspoon of pepper for the creamy corn, three-fourths of a tablespoon of flour for the creamy corn, 180 milliliters of milk for the creamy corn, and finally around 400 grams of corn. Let's start with the creamy corn. And the first thing I'm supposed to do is add in my, and I'm looking there because I see it, Corn, sugar, salt and pepper into a pan and bring gently to a simmer. Which is a strange word having in mind I have no liquids. Was I supposed to leave the liquid from the corn can? Oh well, let's see how that goes. As the year is sizzling, I will add in the milk and let it gently come to simmer. In the meantime, I'm going to melt my butter in the microwave and mix it together with the flour. Now, as the milk came to a simmer, I'm gonna add in this butter and flour mixture to the milk and corn and gonna uh, let it cook for four minutes while stirring constantly. And that's it! Okay, so I'm feeling pretty lucky because the amount I got from making this creamy corn is actually the exact amount I need for this cake, so good for me! Whoa, what you heard is my oven preheating to 180 degrees and while it's doing its job, I will start the mixing party. What I have here is two bowls and in this one I'm gonna mix in the butter together with the super fine corn meal and the creamy corn and in this bowl all the rest of the ingredients and then you guessed both of them together and that's it that will be the cake here 
is a 20 by 25 centimeters pan and I should use a 23 by 23 ideally but it's basically the same in volume so I'm gonna use this one I'm not gonna grease it and I'm gonna put the cake right in well not the cake the batter <laughs> And now the fanciness will start because this cake will cook in a water bath which means I'm gonna take another tray pan I'm gonna put this one inside that and I'm gonna pour really hot water somewhere by halfway and we're gonna put it to cook like this. Okay, basically my water finished. So now this will go into the oven for 40 minutes. Mm, it smells so nice. Okay, I'm carefully taking it off. And I'm going to let it cool for around 15 minutes. Do you want to know the hardest part of this recipe? It's this waiting of 15 minutes in the end. I checked my phone really like 10 times whether it's ended or not. And I just cannot wait to try it because it smells so, so good. Okay, so let's do that. I won't lie, I have tea already ready. <laughs> oh, this without tasting yet, it already is amazing to me. Mmm, it's so good. You know? When I put it to the oven, only then did this thought came. Should have I really put the pepper in it? Will it go with the sugar and everything? But it really does. Oh, you should really, really try this, especially if you like corn. Oh, this is amazing. This is so interesting though. I've never eaten a sweet cake with corn before, so there's that. If you haven't checked the original recipe by Laura, you should definitely go and do that. And all my friends who want to find this recipe with the metric system measurements, check the description box down below. And that's that. For today I'm running to take my tea before it got cold so bye and see you tomorrow